What is up guys, Lazy Boy here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Necrochasm. That is right, guys. That is, that is right. The Necrochasm. The auto rifles of all auto rifles. Uh, this thing just melts. It really does. This thing melts in that cursed all explosion. <laughs> Fantastic in the PvE setting. And it's fantastic for burn. As you can see, I took down that shield. Of course, it's, if you guys were year one players, you know that the Necrochasm is arc damage. Fantastic weapon. Um, I recommend this in both PvE and PvP scenarios. Um, just for the simple fact that you have that Cursed Thrall explosion for the crowd control part of an auto rifle. Uh, you have the high rate of fire for continuous stagger. And you have the arc damage for whenever it's arc burn, or if you're going to use it in small arms. So if you guys don't know, the perks are Curse Bringer, which is kills with this weapon, trigger a Curse Thrall explosion. Now this is different from the Year 1 Necrochasm. The Year 1 Necrochasm required you to get a Precision Kill to get the Curse Thrall explosion. But, since Age of Triumph, they made that to where you can just get straight body shots and... It'll trigger a cursed thrall explosion, as opposed to the headshot. Now it also has fitted stock, and it has Zen moment for the um, the stability. Now on this archetype of auto rifle, Zen moment is definitely a perk you want to have, just for the simple fact that if you land 15 shots or 16 shots. Um, it'll grant you a plus 66 percent for stability so that is fantastic if you're going up against yellow bars you can get just you can just hammer rounds at them and not even think twice about it it'll it will literally stay on target like the reticle literally does not move at all and actually I might be able to show you there's a yellow bar down here and there is let me go to it real quick and show you guys how well the Zen moment actually helps um, with the stability. Get out of here, hobgoblins. Alright, now watch this, guys. See that, see that reticle? Now watch. Boom. It does not move at all. That is amazing. The stability you can have with that sound. It is ridiculous. Like I said, it's... But yeah, guys, I do recommend this for both PvE and PvP scenarios. The PvP scenarios, of course, because it's a high rate of fire auto rifle. The PvE scenario, like I said, is for the cursed all explosions, for the crowd control. And you have Zen Moment for stability. And the range isn't necessarily the greatest. It actually has less range than the Doctrine. But if you run Accurize Ballistics, it has roughly the same range as the Doctrine with small bore on it with the um, the fast draw so its range is not the greatest but it is a good auto rifle nonetheless and guys one thing I wanted to show you about this the devourer of moons look at how sexy this is look at that look at the beauty look at that guys beautiful beautiful wonderful but I don't have that yet it still looks like poop but anyways guys the last perk on it is the cascade which this comes in handy in PvP sometimes if you're almost out of ammo and you get a melee kill it automatically reloads your mag with nine rounds which mm, there's a minimal amount of advantage I guess to that not much. There's not really much, much advantage in a PVE scenario, just for the simple fact that, you know, you're going to take, what is it, uh, 15 shots to kill in Crucible, and in PVE, it's going to take a whole lot more. But Cascade is a decent perk all around. It's it's a decent perk for this archetype of auto rifle, kind of. But my all in all review, it's it's pretty dang good, dude. 
It's a good auto rifle. I like it. I've used it. It's fantastic. So there you go, guys. Um, if you liked this video and thought it was very, very informative, don't forget to leave a like and a subscription to the channel. And don't forget to share my videos. Um, when you guys share my videos and the more views it has and the likes, how many likes it has, it puts it higher up on the recommended list on YouTube so more people can view this video, which really helps me out. And, of course, I help you guys out with information. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a solid auto rifle, and I recommend it to everybody. But, like I said, guys, if you found it informative and all that stuff, just leave a like and a subscription and share the video. It's not too much to ask, and it really helps me out. But, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and, as always... Have a good day, guys. Tomorrow I will, I will be reviewing the Atheon's epilogue and the Vision of Confluence. So, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.